Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters. Oh, before I go, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Before I go any further, you can skip this bit, but this is for the new brothers and sisters to this channel. They're a wicked, dirty vulture, uh, demonic scammers in the comment section pretending to be me using my name, my profile picture, begging for money, giving fake prophecy. This is not me, brothers and sisters. Whenever I make a comment, okay? My name, Sister Karen, is in solid gray border, all right? If it's not solid gray border, it's a wicked, dirty scammer. You need to report them and rebuke them, all right, brothers and sisters? If you need to contact me or bless me or anything like that, you just go to the description box and all my details are in there. Okay, brothers and sisters? All right. All right, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I said that within a couple of days or so, I would come back, giving brothers and sisters time to go out and get their uh, olive oil if they do not have a olive oil, olive oil, because I want to pray and I want to anoint, I want to anoint, hallelujah, your olive oil for you. Glory to your name. Not that you can't do it yourself. All right, not that you can't, you cannot do it yourself. You can, but if you so wish to for me to pray over your olive oil, all right. So what I would say, I'm going to give you a few seconds to go get your olive oil, all right. Um, get it in your possession at this moment in time. So I'll give you a few minutes, a few some not minutes, but I'll give you some time to go grab your olive oil. Now, so go do that, brothers and sisters. You might be saying, oh, Sister Carrie Ann, I don't have any olive oil in my position. It's fine. It's okay. Not a big deal. It's fine. When you have it in your possession, just replay this video. Uh, or, go, or you can just skip it and then when I, you go to the prior of this video. And have your olive oil in your hands. All right? Have your olive oil in your hands. And the prior will still work. It's not a one-off, you know, prior that own work just for this minute while you're watching no this is for eternity this is for it's, it's a prayer that still works hallelujah glory to your name lord because it's anointed yes brothers and sisters so you see you see brothers and sisters you see how much we love our families and friends we're doing this for them while the cdc so to speak i haven't been on the the website or anything but what apparently apparently they have this thing called zombie preparation all right so they are preparing their thing they're doing their thing well we are preparing spiritually on behalf of our families and friends because those of us who are awake we know that we know that there are going to be changes in their dna because of the man-made pestilent job aka killer job so, so basically this is part three to how to handle Sorry, part three, how to handle your families and friends when they turn. All right. So I'm going to link all those videos. All right. Part one and part two, if you haven't seen it, because I don't want to go through all of this again. But the key points I want to take away is the handling. So number one, um, when they begin to turn, you're going to know because it's going to be in front of your face if you're there with them, literally. You know, if you're in the presence, it's, that's how it's going to be. And like I said before, you could be walking on the street with your friends, your family, or in the house, or whatever. And you're going to see, you're going to see the changes. And one of the changes, okay, so the changes in the first video that I've highlighted was, uh, the person was, at, at the time, they were so weak, the collapse. But equally, it's a skin color. So the skin begins to change color to this gray Okay, because this person that I was with was a, was a black person. So this person was very, very gray. Extremely gray. Obviously with Caucasians and, you know, mixed race and Chinese and all of that. It will be gray. It's still going to be gray, but it's going to be in probably, I don't know, yellow tonish gray or something like that. But it's the, the color will, will change. Nevertheless, the eyes bloodshot. Don't know why the bloodshot, but they're really, really bloodshot very very cold this overwhelming is 
is an abnormal hypothermia. It's an abnormal coldness that's going through them. Extremely cold. Um, so those are some of the signs. Another sign um, that I saw was the biting, the biting motion. You know, this they want to bite. It's not, it's not, it's not, oh, you know, you know, when someone, I don't know if you've ever seen someone dying before, brothers and sisters, it's not that when they're, when they have a labored breathing, this wasn't labored breathing when the person is going to pass away and they no, this was, you know, it was a biting motion with a head coming forward to bite. So the biting motion will kick in. And another thing that I saw as well, um, and I didn't mention this and I meant to mention it, is the hair. For some reason, brothers and sisters, that was a liar. Fan behave yourself. Fix properly. Sorry, brothers and sisters. It's the hair. Because in the second video that I did with the second dream that I had when the people were turning all over the world, one of the things that I saw is the hair loss. So I remember was standing beside this lady and she had braids in. She had, uh, what color was the braid? It was brunette, brunette color braid. It was a lady, a black lady actually, to be honest with you. And she had in her braids. And when she was turning in front of me, brothers and sisters, one of the things she started to cry out is that her hair was coming out in clumps. Now this is not alopecia. You know, whereas a, a, a autoimmune system, autoimmune condition that causes hair loss. No, this, this was something that is triggered by the change. Because you have to remember that Satan is changing them into his image. So if at the time they were beautiful, pretty you no know, and all of that so whatever or if they're not pretty or whatever and um, but they look the normal self satan is changing them so one of the changes is i don't know if they're gonna have complete hair i don't know how to explain it oh lord i don't know if it's gonna be complete i think all right in one of the visions i have to my visions them just bear with me brothers and sisters but in one of the visions that i had it, it was a pictorial vision a pictorial vision of a turner, a walker, zombie, so to speak, all right? And when the Lord showed me the picture, it was a still picture of this white lady, all right? I've done the video. If I find it, I'll try and post it. But this person was white. She was a white lady. When I saw her in the vision, the pictorial vision, I thought it was a nuclear, you know, bomb detonated that went off because... The surroundings was just a little bit messy. But when the Lord began to say, look closely, I realized that this was someone that's turned into a zombie. And one of the things that I noticed with this lady, and I've said it in the, in the video, the hair was thin. Very, very thin. Like, was, you know, it was, I don't know. She had hair, but it was so strong and like... You could, oh gosh, Satan is so wicked. It was just so strong, brothers and sisters, but most of her hair had went. So you could see, you know, the baldness going on, but a few here and there, here, here and there, so to speak. So the same thing with this lady, this black lady that had in her braids, and she was crying because the change was kicking in. And she just go like that, just like that. And the hair were coming out and she showed it to me. She started to scream and she went like that again. And the hair, oh, I knew she were turning. But, the, you know, um, in the vision, um, the Lord was only showing me what was going to happen, you know, to these people. <sighs> okay, brothers and sisters. And then another thing is the strength. I don't know. They're going to be very strong. All right. That's, that's a demonic power but with the prayer that you're going to pray you're going to be able to subdue that's the word you're going to be able to subdue them all right so you're going to turn your bibles with me because we're going to do the prayer now because i don't want this video to be too long so 
you're going to turn your Bibles, if you've got your Bibles, to, to James. James chapter 14, verse 15. That's James chapter 14 and verse 15, brothers and sisters. Okay, so hold on. Okay, something just popped up on my phone. I just have to clear it. Watch this. <clears throat> Watch this, brothers and sisters, because some people do not believe in... <laughs> Some people don't believe in the in the oil, the olive oil process. Yes, we have the Holy Spirit. We do have the Holy Spirit and he's all powerful. Hallelujah. But there are instances where the Lord, that's just his thing, where he works through things. So like I, I did that video and I said that even Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the biblical Christ, he used mud to heal the eyes of the blind. So he used stuff. And the same thing with the Old Testament saints. They use oil to anoint and to do whatever. So that hasn't changed. And Jesus had the Holy Spirit walking up and down. He was, you know. So nothing has changed, brothers and sisters. So we're going to do the same thing for our foolish families and friends who have run out because they want to save their lives to take the man-made pestilent job. So this is what the Bible says concerning the sick and using oil. Watch this. James chapter 5 verse 14 to 15 the bible reads is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him watch this anointing him with oil and this is the new testament this is why the Lord placed it on my heart and said, daughter, daughter, tell my people to use olive oil when, these, when, the, when the turning starts. Because you're going to need it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 15, watch this. And the prayer of faith. This is why I said to you, brothers and sisters, that the fervent prayer of the righteous. Not everybody. The Bible is very specific. The fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It simple means, it simple means what the Lord is saying. That when a child of God petition heaven on behalf of the wickedest, vilest, heedless person, the Lord will hear. And this is why I'm saying, brothers and sisters, prepare yourself. Because when your families and friends begin to turn, when you storm the gates of heaven and you pray over them, they will be okay. They will be fine. I know people are saying, um, you know, those who take the man-made pestilent job, the killer job, a.k.a. the depot job, they're done for. That's it. They're no more. No, it's a lie. It's not the mark of the beast. It's not the 666. The 666 is coming. It is a foreshadowing. The, the job is a foreshadowing of it. But they have hope. Some will die sadly, unfortunately, because they're going to be, I'm telling you, some will be shot by the, the cops and the soldiers and the armed forces. Some will be taken away to unmarked location for trials. And we know that. I've seen it already. The Lord has shown it to me, brothers and sisters. And that's why I said keep your loved ones in. Because they're not going to in the right minds. And if you have to tie them up, then so let it be. For a little while, you know, then, then you know, but you got to lock them in. Because any hole they go on the street is problem. Because the brain disease that they have, it's, it's, it's abnormal. They're not in the right mind. Okay, let's continue. And the prior of faith shall what? Shall what? Shall what? The prior of faith shall save the sick. Because they are sick. Brothers and sisters, when the turning begins, they're literally classed as... They're basically demonics. That's what it is. 
call them zombies and all of that, but they're just the demonics, you know. But the prayer, your prayer is going to heal them through the Holy Spirit. Your prayer of faith is going to save them. This is Bible. And you might say, oh, well, you know, John was just talking about um, just a normal baby sickness. No, any manner of sickness. The Lord deal what? So what? You're only putting the Lord in the box? What? Christ can only heal what? Just diabetes or AIDS or cancer. He, he can't do anything else. Don't put God in the box. He's almighty. He's the uncreated God. So don't ever you put him in a box. When he says sick, sick is sick. And these families and friends, that turn, they are sick. That's why they must not go on the streets. Because they're not in the mind, the brain disease of, well, they call it brain disease. But anyways, the effect of the, the zombie thingy has taken over. So they're not, they're not well. All right. But the prayer of faith shall save them. All right. Now let me make a, li a little disclaimer here because people are hearing this and said, "Oh, so if that's not the if the if the man-made pestilent jab is not the six 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 that six 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 that means when the real six 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 comes, we as a believer can pray for them. No, you can't. You run. Do you hear what I said, brothers and sisters? If you find yourself, you listen to me and listen to me very very good. When the time comes, I might do a video on this actually, but when the time comes and they're handing out the, the mark of the beast, the 666, don't you dare pray for them. Don't you dare call upon you. You run. R-U-N. Pack your bags and leave the house. You cannot stay with them. Because that's it. The, the, there's no redemption. With the man-made pestilent job, there is hope. We just need to call on the Lord because they've been foolish. But with the ma with but with the uh the six 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 that's coming, um that's it. If they take it, that's it. They are done for. They are there is no redemption, there is no coming back. And you don't go up to them and say you're gonna pray because they're gonna kill you. Simple as so you run. So pray to God that you know. You're not in that position and you, well, we'll see what, you know, what life brings. But you won't be able to stay in the house when the real mark of the beast comes. If the real mark of the beast comes and your loved ones or friends take that thing, you cannot stay around them. You've got to run. You cannot rebuke them either. very deep because they're the same one who's going to take you into the um into the the authorities they're going to shop you in i'll do a video on that one but at least i've got hope with the job all right they're foolish to take it but they got a bit of hope so and the prior faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up hallelujah we have hope with our foolish loved ones Hallelujah. And the Lord shall raise him up. And he and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven of him. Glory to your name, Lord. We serve a good God. We serve a mighty, mighty, mighty God. A mighty, mighty Yah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. So we know that the, you need to read it for yourself. James 5 verses 14 and 15 powerful very very powerful the lord is saying look get your olive oil olive oil all right your prayer of faith is going to restore the, ter the your family and friends at turns we're going to pray brothers and sisters oh that's the time so sorry that the video is long hallelujah 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 glory 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 uh, hallelujah, 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 uh, hallelujah, glory to your name, sorry if my voice sounded a bit cracky because I was talking before, uh, hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reigns, 
Glory to your name, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Alleluia. Holy. Holy. Are you, Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, sorry about my voice, it's so cracking, holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know it still heals. So get your olive oil, brothers and sisters. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Get your olive oil. We're going to uh, pray. <coughs> Sorry. We're going to pray over it and just ask the Lord to just anoint. Glory to your name, Lord. Anoint your bottle of olive oil oh glory eternal god most righteous yah we come before you father because you are the uncreated heavenly father oh god of heaven without you oh lord there is nothing that we can do and so father we thank you we glorify you we honor you we lift you up we give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. We give you the highest praise. Father God, your people, your children, your sons, your daughters, at this moment, Lord, they are holding up their bottles of olive oil. Father God, we know that there is power. Glory to your name, Lord, in the things that we come to you about. And so, God, with this olive oil, just like Christ, hallelujah, just like the biblical Jesus Christ, your beautiful, your beautiful son who took the mud, oh God, hallelujah, yes, Lord, and placed it over the blind man's eyes, and he recovered and he received his sight. We are saying, Father God, anoint let the power of the Holy Spirit run through this oil that your children are having. Lord, we are preparing because we know that there will be an outbreak of something very demonic, God, that is not of you. We know Satan is going to try and change, oh God, but his plans will backfire. Because God, we know that when the changes begin, because people have gone out and take the man-made pestilent job and so god we have to work on behalf of our foolish families and friends and we're saying god that when we place this olive oil on them god we will begin to see changes that day that god the demonic force that that's causing this change will be subdued through the power of the holy ghost will be subdued god when we put this oil on them oh god when we anoint them god you said in your words if there's any that is amongst you that is sick hallelujah father god that we should anoint them with oil and god our loved ones in preparation of this outbreak will be sick and so god we're asking you to please anoint our olive oils anoint it oh god let the fire let the power hallelujah the redeeming power of our soon coming king our lord and savior jesus christ through the precious holy spirit run through our oils Father God, we know that this oil is going to be powerful. Lord God, we're going to subdue the enemy. Father God, we're going to heal them with this oil. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you in advance, Father God, for the work is already done. We give you honor, we give you glory, and we give you praise forevermore in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Remember, brothers and sisters, remember to write your families and friends, those who have taken the man-made pestilent jab, write it on a piece of paper, just a normal piece of paper, and then put that paper into Psalms 91 and lock them in. Lock them in Psalms 91 because we are saying to the Lord, we need that protection prior, just as our Christ cried out to Heavenly Father and said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them for they know not what they're doing. We're saying, God, have mercy on our foolish loved ones who have went ahead and have taken the man-made pestilent job. So I just wanted to come and do this video, this prayerful video, okay? Concerning the job, I believe that your olive oils will your olive oils will be anointed. One more thing, somebody asked a question, Sister Karen, can we anoint our families and friends beforehand? Of course, even be beautiful, <laughs> wonderful, if you allow them. If sorry, if they allow you to. If they, if you know, if you explain to them and say, look, I want to anoint you. With it. Oh, you listen, dub. You know, in Patwa, Jamaicans, we said dab. Dab means plenty. You know, plenty. Yes, put it on them. Put it on them. If they agree, if they agree and say, yes, please anoint me. With, oh, yeah. Anoint them beforehand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, you can, you can anoint them beforehand. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah. And, you know, it's up to you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to say something, but this is going to be totally up to you. With your olive oil, and if you're, and with your families and friends that have taken the man-made pestilent jab, what you can do, you can go, if it's your kids or your husband, or you know, if it's your Caesar, if it's your spouse, your wife or your husband that has taken it, wherever they sleep on the bed, you know, you can anoint that bit. Not put a lot of oil on it, so to speak. You know, but maybe just a little dab on the pillow or something like that. You don't have to let them know. All right? It's not because when you anoint the house, you don't have to tell them or anything like that. So you're just anointing. There's ways around it before the... the, the uh, before the outbreaks comes come kicks in you can anoint the bed um you can put a little bit on the shoe you know the bottom of the shoe whatever shoes that they, that they wear the little things like that you know um but yeah it'd be nice for um if they said yes then you can physically touch them and put that oil all over them because that, 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 that olive oil represents the Holy Spirit. And that's why some family members will be safe. All right? Okay, brothers and sisters. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah. Just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah. Who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen, amen. And get your Bibles, brothers and sisters. I'm holding up my hand, got my pencil. Get your, your Bibles, brothers and sisters. We're going to say the benediction together. The benediction is like a sealing prayer. And we basically, we are agreeing with Brother Jude. So you turn the Bibles to Jude chapter 1. We are agreeing with Brother Jude and what he described about our Messiah, about the King of Glory. So Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, 
now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.